It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? It's coming up next, live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Leandro Paredes in central midfield and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Presnel Kimpembe in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. And so the battle commences. Marcos Acuna. Great vision to switch the play. Can they create something from here? Well, disappointing end to the move. Griezmann. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1930, 1990 and eight years ago in 24. Pogba! And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Lo Celso. Well, they could run onto it here. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Now well, Molina. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Mbappe. Options in the centre. Can he take this chance? And that is how to block. And the referee says corner kick. And deciding to go short with this one. Thumps clear. Di Maria 
Just the challenge that was required. Conte. Conte. Griezmann. Can he put them in front? Wonderful challenge. But the chance is still on. They might be able to get in now. And that is defending of the highest order. Rafael Varane. Now Griezmann. Teo Hernandez. He's using his strength to good effect. He does have pressure to deal with. A smart stop here. And played short. And Paul Pogba waiting to fire. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Not showing good defensive judgment. Coman. Hernandez, well not hard to read that pass Messi looking for the through ball Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision Well it's fine margins isn't it, but in the end he just went too early Pogba Teo Hernandez. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And he's broken free. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far. And as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Moving into the advanced position. Clattered away. Oh, showing excellent vision. And he read it really well. Fine save. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner and he clears the danger a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here And this confrontation is underway. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. They need to get bodies back. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. And there the attack ends for now. Di Maria regained possession on the offensive and dribbling with it but out of play 
And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Now well Molina. Lionel Messi! And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Here it is now, a substitution. It's a short corner. Messi. Error by the keeper. Might give him a chance. Kunde. The attacking options appear plentiful. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And it's going to run through to the keeper here. And into the last 30 minutes now. Martinez. And he's through here. A superb chance. But he's failed the test. Well, you can see what he was trying to do. But he's missed the target. He should score there. And the substitution will occur now. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Kunde. Well, he's given us away. Dibala. And Goro Conte. Now with Benzema. He has teammates around him. Griezmann. Just cutting off the supply. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And what an emphatic strike it is from Lionel Messi. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. Substitution time it is here. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Rafael Varan. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Routine, really. Take it away. Well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers been a great counter-attacking display well that's right preserving the lead and doing it really well oh surely oh the equaliser just what they needed and the dream remains very much alive well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through good vision to set up the chance and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there so underway again, following the goal that made things level. Number seven, Antoine Griezmann. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Well, it came to nothing in the end.
Alexander just sets a game. Coleman really getting stuck in. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Still pushing for a winner, but they dealt with the threat first. Must be! The two sides still locked together, and a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. Elects to go short. Messi. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Well, he didn't miss by very much at all. The electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Griezmann. And he read it well, intercepting it. Kunde. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? The defender doing his job. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, back on the way here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Fine work from France to win back possession. Oh, good play, this. And it's a bit too easy for his opponent. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. The cross is on. Radio. And now Hernandez. Digne. Can they forge ahead? Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. It's a short one. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Alexis McAllister, Messi, here's Alvarez, oh a perfectly timed pass, it's still alive, and in the end no damage done, Aurelien Chouameni, here's Ben Yadair, Rabiot, Hernandez, no oh, frustration for those waiting in the middle. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Whipped in by Griezmann. And he's clear as lines. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Dybala. Will he finish? Oh, it's gone in. And that will be written down as an own goal.
No wonder he's hanging his head. Well, as you can see, it came off him last, and as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties. We'll see. And the contest begins. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Giroud. Now with Rabiot. In position here to protect the ball. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Teammates available. Then you dare. And after the cross, a tremendous block. There's a slide draw pass. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. And they will make the change now. Good use of advantage by the referee. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Well, it still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Dybala. On to Messi. They've given it away. And he might be through here. Now the conclusion. He's missed the opportunity. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Messi. And here he is, Lionel Messi. Well, going for power and so close to finding the net. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart.
Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans. 